Hey guys, my name's Chris, and you're watching WC Fishing. Here back again with another episode for you all today. So as y'all can see, guys, back again at the Riverton Reservoir. Now I know I filmed a lot of videos here. Two of the last videos before the Terrytown Reservoir video uh, were at the Riverton Reservoir here, and I'm only doing it a lot, guys, because number one, you guys really seem to like the underwater footage, and second of all, that underwater footage really only lasts from like April until late June. I really only have another two weeks to fish here and get that quality uh, footage, so. I want to make the most of it while I can. I'm going to be targeting pumpkin seeds with the jigs on their beds, get some cool underwater footage there, and then also try to catch a lot of bass today, a lot more bass than the last video, because I felt like I was catching mainly sunfish today. We are going to be primarily targeting the largemouth. As y'all can see, we have ourselves uh, with a spinning combo right here. So it's the same reel, but I just found the rod right here. This is the actual rod that it belongs to. This is the loose uh, mock something or another spinning combo. So before we start the video, about 86.6% of you guys are not subscribed. That number dropped from 88.2 and you guys you guys have been subscribed to basically every day. I've been getting huge numbers. I was at 400 like two weeks ago and now I'm at like what 450 something. Probably by the time this video drops it'll be like 460 something. So I really really appreciate all you guys who are subscribing. Helping me grow the channel really really means a lot to me. So that being said, I'm still trying to reach 1,000 subscribers. But first, let's try to just make it 500. Let's reach 500, guys. Hopefully within the next month. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, smash the notification bell, and let's get the fishing. All right, y'all. As you can see, got ourselves our spinning combo here. Uh, seven foot spinning rod. And we have a little Rapala shad crankbait. And we're gonna go ahead and just cast it out there. This lure is perfect for largemouth. Water is crystal clear as ever. See, one fish will to bite. Oh, well, there's not. Oh, oh, I'll let him go back. That would have been the first fish of the day, but it doesn't really count because I didn't really pick him up. But he was a dink anyway, so not like that really matters at all. All right, guys, I think we're getting on a hit here. There we go. Finally, first fish of the day. Here we go. I'm gonna get a jump. Yes, sir. Ah, oh, we lost the wacky rig. Still got the fish, though. That's what counts. And I've been counting minutes for quite some time now Just to see you again Yep, there we go. First largemouth of the day. As y'all can see, first fish of the day. Dink of a largemouth. Pretty average for the size of the Irvington Reservoir, but still, pretty cool fish. Alright, well this is what we're after. Let's go ahead and catch about 10 more of these guys and then I'll be happy. Now this spot does look extremely juicy. Oh, that's a fish. Oh, he dropped it. There he is. Got him. <laughs> All right, guys, second fish of the day. Another gorgeous little largemouth. Slightly bigger than the first, probably like a pound, pound and a half. Awesome fish. Ooh, we got a nice sized fish here. Okay, now we have a baby looking at it. That's not what I want. Water conditions are still really nice though. Water's really clear. I can see bass all the way out there. Oh, there we go. Was not paying attention. Ooh, a little jump there. Another jump. There we have it. Third fish of the day. Thanks, little buddy. Have a good life. Alright. Let's try it out down here. That dead area. Logs. Looks good. Alright, guys. I think we got a hit. Got him. I think he's about to jump. Oh, half jump. 
All right, guys, well, got ourselves our fourth fish of the day, third fish, not even sure at this point. Let's go ahead and get an underwater release. Thanks, little buddy. Have a good rest of your life. All right, guys, we got us another sunfish right here. Let's go ahead and see if we can get some really cool underwater footage of this fish. All right, let's do this thing. All right, fish, come on. You can tell he's really aggressive. He or she really wants to guard because of her eggs, so he is too aggressive towards the jig. You can tell he's also scared of the GoPro. Got him. y'all can see got ourselves on our uh fifth fish of the day of some sort awesome but can see it's on fish yeah, medium sized fish much larger ones here at the reservoir but really awesome colors let's go and get on to our release on our fish all right y'all change of plans decided to go back the way we came just to see if try to get on some of those fish that i saw in the tree line i'm sure there's got to be some that are willing to take this bait so back here at the old spots let's see how lucky we can get oh oh what was that jeez that must have been a big fish oh here we go here we go we're about to get eight we're about to get eight yep we're eight got him <laughs> good one good one this is a little more what i'm talking about this is a slightly larger one of the bunch Nicer largemouth bass. Stop that. Stop. I want my lure. As y'all can see, got ourselves on the seventh fish of the day, I believe. Six or seven. Nice little largemouth. Sadly, guys, I was in the process of getting underwater footage, but both cameras died actually the exact same time. So, sadly, I am out of camera footage, which pretty much means that this is pretty much where we're going to have to wrap up today's video. Let's just first get a good release on this fish, though. There you go, little buddy. And there you have it. All right, guys. Well, sadly, all my cameras are dead. I feel like there's something wrong with the batteries. So I'm going to try to go ahead and buy some more when I get the chance. But actually, before I do any of that, that reminds me, there have been some significant changes to my college decision. Just a brief spoiler, I actually got off all my waitlist schools. So uh, a lot of stuff changed. I'll make a video about that and everything that's going to happen in the future. But for now, guys, we're going to go and end off the video here. Hope you all enjoyed. Uh, I didn't catch as many fish as I did in the previous Service and Reservoir videos, but still a good number. Overall, uh, guys, please make sure to hit the red subscribe button and smash the notification bell. Help me to reach 1,000 subscribers. And I'll see y'all next week. Peace.